ஆனரபிள் ஸ்பீக்கர் சார் சார் த்ரூ யூ ஐ வில் லைக் டு சீக் சம் ஃபியூ கிளாரிஃபிகேஷன் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் அஹெட் வித் த கிளாரிஃபிகேஷன் ஐ கங்க்ராச்சுலேட் த ஆனரபிள் மினிஸ்டர் மிஸ்டர் கே டி ராமராவ் சார் ஃபார் கிவிங் அ வெரி குட் ரிப்ளை சார் அட் த சேம் டைம் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு பிரிங் டு யுவர் கைண்ட் நோட்டீஸ் வென் the honorable minister for municipal administration was giving a reply on governor's address so he had said that leader of opposition mr akbaruddin owaisi sir i would like i i i request the chair to kindly correct this because it will it will come in the records of the assembly that needs to be corrected or i don't know if i have been <laughs> given that position if so i request the honorable minister to, uh, honorable speaker to please uh, clarify on this ke yes if yes yes it will it will it will be corrected and it will be corrected yes sir thank you sir and uh, secondly sir uh, i would like to bring to the kind notice of honorable minister saab once again upon the promise which was made to the muslims of the states of telangana for providing 12% reservation honorable minister saab was quiet on this and at the same time sir there is a confusion regarding the new recruitment a roster has been created in which it is been read in the media that 4% reservation is not been followed and instead of 4 only 3% reservation is been given according to the roster if so cl- kindly clarify this and thirdly sir the 4% reservation case is going on in honorable supreme court i request the government to please take all necessary steps to see that the 4% reservation which is been provided in the state of telangana to the muslims is protected sir and uh, i i request through you sir to the minister saab to kindly call for a meeting in this assembly session so that issues relating to old city development the road widening the metro train the flyovers the other issues which have been raised can be addressed in that meeting and sir i also had requested in the last session for calling for a meeting with the finance minister saab and minority affairs minister saab with myself so that we could have a discussion regarding the minority issues and also the funds which are required for release of a uh, uh, release for the overseas scholarship for uh, direct loaning minority finance corporation if if this meeting also could be conveyed i would be very thankful sir sir and and lastly sir i have requested the my, my party has requested for sanction, sanctioning the da arrears of 6.48 in the ensuing financial year budget i hope that the government would uh, uh, accept the demand made by the mim that the government announce a formation of a new pay revision commission for employees besides ensuring that the preliminary report is submitted within 3 months of its working for speedy implementation of revised salaries the cr biswal committee had submitted the prc report to the government on july 1st 2018 but its implementation was delayed for nearly 2 years a new prc has to be announced by 2023 so once again i request that da arrears of 6.48% may be relieved released in this financial year sir and uh, lastly sir honorable minister saab had uh, mentioned about the inflation of uh, india i do agree with what he had said but at the same time i would like to caution the state government i was go- uh, going through the statistics uh, department figures and in that i had found that the inflation in telangana is 8.67% so i i i really re- uh, uh, request the government to please make a note of this and we should control this inflation and lastly sir honorable minister saab had said about mim having seven seats sir i have taken a very serious uh, 
note of his uh, comment which he has passed on MIM and I assure him that I am going to make sure ke I talk to my party president and see that ke we contest more seats in the coming election and we, we come not in the number of seven but I will we'll, make sure that we come in the number of at least 50 next time by contesting at least 50. I will make sure that my party president agrees for this. And if he agrees, I am sure okay, we, will, we will have more number of MIM legislatures here and who will work together once again with the Bharat Rashtra Samiti, sir. I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, sir. Nilu, I stand corrected. I, I'm not, I wasn't sure. I was not uh, clear, sir. I addressed you as uh, leader of opposition. Uh, I think honorable speaker sir will uh, give you the needed clarification. I stand it, I stand corrected. Or you have a meeting in the old city, in old city, in this session. If you want, you can do it on Monday, because we will do it on the budget. If you don't have any trouble, we will do it on the budget. And uh, we will ensure that happens. You also sought a meeting with FM and uh, Minority Affairs Minister. I have passed on your request to him. I am sure uh, he will oblige. You have talked about DA Arrears, ki baat ki. Uh, Honorable Finance Minister uh, with the blessings of Chief Minister sir has released one DA recently and I am sure uh, whatever other concerns there are of the employees, we are employee friendly government sir, so we will certainly look into that as well. You also spoke about new PRC, 100% uska bhi pura, puri tarah se humne amlaavari kiya hai, agar koi kahi kamiya rahe gai, toh zaroor uh, aap uh, Finance Minister sahab ke zahen me laiye, kyunki he is looking after the subject, he will I am sure uh, definitely take cognizance of it. You also spoke about 4% reservation. I will assure you, sir, through uh, you know this uh, house, to all the Muslim brothers and sisters in the state of Telangana, that we will ensure that the 4% is protected because we are fighting that battle in the court. Uh, you are fully aware. So we will ensure that whatever reservation is today, uh, you know, standing today, it will be implemented and we will also further you know, push uh, the agenda which we had passed through this August house. Sir, you also spoke about infl uh, inflation in Telangana, which is on the higher side, which is a fact. Hum log uh, baat ko hum log it is a fact and uh, we will we'll definitely take uh, you know, it's a course correction whatever needs to be done. Uh, as a government, uh, you know, we will certainly take uh, corrective measures. You uh, said but we will take it up during the demands because we have a long session ahead. We'll certainly take it.